It's Equality Fragrance. Welcome to my cipher. A cipher is a person, place, a thing within my circumference. The understanding of my cipher is peace. Sit down. Let's build. So, there's been a popular fragrance type that has came up in, by storm. Um, and has inspired a number of other fragrances to attempt to emulate it. No, I'm not talking about Creed Aventus. I'm talking about the infamous Baccarat Rouge 540. That's a good fragrance. Some people like it. Some people don't. They don't like the sugary cotton candy vibe that you get from it. Now, there's been a few inspired or temp inspired interpretations of it. One, Ariana Grande's Clio. But to me, that smells more like Mancera's Vanilla Exclusive. I have that out. Talk about that on another day. Then you have Callan. I'm not impressed. It's good, though. Not impressed by it. Then you have Mancera's Instant Crush. That is a good one. That's bottle worthy, but not quite yet. But the one, the one that rules them all is, you hit a click clack, Montal's Sensual Instinct. This thing right here, mm, 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 mm. I have the dry down on this hand. This right here, listen, in my most humble opinion, is better than Instant Crush slightly by hair, and it's better than Calvin by a long shot, in my most humble opinion, at least on my skin. Let's get to the notes. From Fragrantica and Maud Tall's website, the notes read roasted coffee in the top. In the mid, you get rose and pralines. In the base, you get amber, cedarwood, and oak moss. Now, when you look on some other websites with the note breakdown theirs read a tad bit different you get bergamot mandarin orange cardamom saffron whiskey you get amberwood jasmine rose tiramisu patchouli you get cacao coffee vanilla oak moss cedar wood and white musk me personally I tend to go with or want to go with what Montal says on their notes from their own official webpage. But there's a combination of things there, and I'll tell you why. This is the dry down. Let me remind myself what this uh what this opening smells like. In typical Montal, Mancera fashion, one spray, all this is, you can smell it. It's a beast. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try not to seem like I'm sicing this, but this is serious. So, you're going to get that coffee rose, juicy rose that's going to come in that's going to be very similar to what you get from Intense Cafe. It's a beautiful combination. And you're going to definitely get the praline that comes in. But when you start comparing the other notes, you definitely get whiskey. Whiskey is in this. 
And the reason why I know I smell whiskey in it, because I have commodities whiskey. And that particular whiskey note is in this. So you get this boozy, rose, sweet, dry slash caramel rose with roasted coffee. Man. But wait, the dry down's coming. The rose and coffee goes nowhere. But what you get in the base, in the dry down, you're going to definitely get this chocolatey cacao vibe. Not too strong, but a nice, like, um, chocolate shavings almost. Cacao. You're going to get the amber. You're definitely getting vanilla. Vanilla's in this. And you're going to get a woody. They say amber wood, cedar wood. Listen, I don't know, but you're going to get this woody effect. And you definitely get the oak moss because you can smell the moss in it. This opening, the dry down. Mm. Is it similar or have a vibe to Baccarat Rouge 540? Yes. Yes, it does. But does it go in a completely different direction? Absolutely. Man. Look. <laughs> I'm not going to be your best fragrance reviewer. I'm this guy who won't talk about fragrance. But what I do know is what smells good. And this is good. On a scale of 1 to 10, eight point five, easy. Oh, man, that's not even trying. This is almost gourmandish. When we talk about performance, let's talk about that. You're getting over 10 hours on it. Listen, after 10 hours, I just start counting. It don't even make a difference. If I get 10 hours on any fragrance, that's it. It's a wrap. It's a beast mode. Keep it. Anything else after 10 is extra pudding. You put this on clothes, it'll be on your clothes the next day. Easy. But from a performance on my skin, I'm getting 10 hours. Not trying. It's on my skin. It's dead. <sighs> It's going to start pushing off. You're going to get at least a good four hours. Easy. People, a scent bubble. People were was, was smelling me as I walked by them when I wore this. This is a must have for me in my collection. Am I also going to get instant crush? Yes, because... They go in two different directions. Although similar, both similar, will give you a Baccarat Rouge 5. So that's also coming home in a collection, full bottle worthy. But this mm, is a must have in a collection. No doubt. So with that being said, in my most humble opinion, when will I wear this? Mm. Going out all night, date night because of the rose and the and the sensuality to it. This is going to work perfect at night. Would I personally wear this in the office? Yeah, I'm going to wear this when I want to wear it. Now, in extreme heat, would I wear this? Probably not for me. But you know my motto, where what you like, when you like, forget the hype. I recommend definitely get a sample, try it on skin, see if it works out for you and your skin. It's best to, I'm not going to tell you to blind buy nothing. I'm a blind buying fool. But 
I'm always going to tell you to get samples. There's several different websites you can go to. I'm not going to promote none of them. You can look around and find places to get samples from. But this, mm, 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 mm. yes, yeah, it's, it's a good purchase for me for 2019. I'm batting real good in 19. So I'm going to greet you and leave you always in the same fashion. And that's in the universal language of peace.